All right, we're back as if we ever, ever left. Where he was it? Hey, I don't know. Does it mean where they were when you casted it? Or does it mean where they actually started their attack from? Where they started, I don't know. It seems more like where they were when you casted it, which is not a great thing, yeah. I think you're probably right. Let's go in sword. This is where they are at the point, yeah. I think so. Otherwise, it would be super unlucky that we keep just getting them teleported behind us, so. 7 to 25. Okay. So about half the time it'll help. About half it won't. Yeah, I'm not... Yeah, yeah, we can, uh, you can actually do the, you can destroy the mech corpses or turn it into steel even from the very beginning. So, way before you get a machining table, you can put down a uh, crafting spot. They added this, I don't know when, 1.1 or something. You can actually smash mechanoid now. So, even as a tribal starter or something like that, you can smash the mechs for uh, resources. So, we'll do that too. I think we have that set up on the machining table, yeah. 60% of the time, it works every time. Hey, that's my rice, Randy. No expanded, yeah. Adds more me more and harder mechs that they deconstruct for more materials. I kind of so when Royalty first came out and the, the assemblers of the mech cluster spawns, they were infinite. And so when royalty first came out, what we would do is we would destroy a mech cluster all aside from like one or two of the assemblers that spawn something that we could just handle very easily, like pikemen or lancers or something, uh, or even scythers, whatever. Something aside from centipedes. And so every day we'd be like, all right, it's time for our plasteel delivery. And it would just keep bringing, Welcome back. you know, those couple mechs Your to our base over and over that we could just kill and deconstruct for plasteel. Now it's limited to four mechs that spawn. Unfortunately, uh, Z, Z mouth, thank you for the eight months for all the, thanks for all those months. Hey, my pleasure. The ball's good. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate the support. Z, welcome back. Let's get teleport target to a desired position, not too far from his starting point. Starting points where they are when you cast it. Yeah, that kind of sucks, but it makes sense. I'm at, but not so good for the bad guys. Yeah. And chaos is just a random in that area. All right. Uh, so we did get shield belt started. I saw, yeah, we had one person that already equipped him. We're gonna have three of them to start to hold that front line with the elephants. Let's make up. Uh, we almost have transport pod ready. Actually, do have some kin fuel from the boom elope. I think I'm gonna go ahead and schedule everyone to work. Aside from the person that we want to go out and start leveling up the animal handling, who did we decide to do that? Uh, Tet. 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 I'm sure, you'll be fine, Tet. Well, I'm not sure. Our about. community grows. Play at around 200% difficulty. 100% really makes you have to be more strategic. The main thing it makes you do is you have to be really cautious about wealth, or you have to try to outpace it, one or the other. Being more cautious about wealth is probably the one that works the most often. Uh, we have more wealth than I should have right now, but uh, Johnny, they were the follow also. Thank you, Johnny. Everybody gets nervous at chance. So that's a percent chance outside. Boost that by building a loop in behind the combat. Yeah, that's what I was talking about too. Like make a little, uh, like a U shape behind us. That way, if it went back there, they don't get a free shot off. And uh, it also blocks some of the places that they could actually spawn, which may make it so it's more likely to send them 
to a desirable place. Yeah. I probably won't worry about it. Probably just keep using stun instead. All right, speaking of, we need to link someone else, try to get another stun. Stun has been very, very good. All right, Accord, Link. We already have an Euroquake. You got like 90,000 silver lying around on your current playthrough? Ugh. I would never. Some trapped cupboard positions in there too. Hey, look at that. I don't have Berserk Pulse yet. No, but we do have Neuroquake, which is one of our kind of get out of jail free cards. No Berserk Pulse yet. But that's another one we're aiming for. So far, the, the high tier ones that we have that are really good are we got Skip Shield, which can save us, and we have Neuroquake. That's right. Now we can gift them our excess buffed by Zot. They're in a relationship. Word of trust. Not as good for us right now. Word of trust is really good, but uh, I don't think we're going to be recruiting any prisoners anytime soon. Met cluster. Oh, it's an auto mortar one, and we do not have... Uh, we don't have an animal pulser. We can't use guns, so. We got some visitors. <laughs> no, none of them have guns, it looks like. That's what I was checking. Good thing we waited on that quest, yeah. Can they break it in time? That's the question. We can't control anything that has uh, range, basically. Dennis, you're so slow. Come on, man. We gotta go. Solve that issue. <laughs> uh, that wasn't our people, no. <laughs>
bad that traps you don't have three charges. Where did that mortar hit? Because it hurt some people. But I don't see like anything destroyed. Oh, we're gonna have to fight that centipede. <laughs> the covers that they're eating their corpses. Here comes a centipede. I might should let the centipede come in and surround it. Our community grows. It depends. Is it gonna beat them here? If if it doesn't, we'll we'll leave it. Thank you for the follow. Mod wife, thank you for the bits. A generous bestow. Pikeman one shot Jamie. Our first death of the run. <sighs> Sad. The Pikeman just shot from there, and that was it. Sad. It wasn't even the Lancer that appeared behind us. Uh, all right, let's do this really quick. Our first death. Sad times. Bound to happen. Uh, elephant's not dead. It's just downed. One of them is downed. That's um lay down. Silver needs to lay down. I'll be fine. Right. Man, that pikeman really sucks. I was focusing on this lancer behind us. I didn't realize the pikeman had come into that corner. Uh well. Uh that's one of our primary researchers. Reeve is going to be pretty upset, too. Yeah, it wasn't the one behind us that killed him. Yeah, the Lancer got Chaos teleported over there, but it was the Pikeman from the, yeah, see, the needle gun. Destroyed the heart. All right. R squared, you patched up. That stuff still needs patched. Where are you, uh, Jer? Quicksilver still needs patched. Uh, Claire. Right. Check on the elephant. Yeah, it looked like it was all right. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Close that door. Close that one. Close this one. We did get a red serum off of uh, Ancient Danger in the last run, so maybe. Yeah. Now that we could have done about it, I mean, had I done the pikeman in the corner there, but I was too focused on the one behind us, plus the centipede. Oh, well. Probably won't be the last. I am almost certain. Close this door. Uh, do, do, 
Oh, right. You can't re can, uh, can't put those, like, move those without minify everything. Forgot about that. Oh, uh, well, what do we got? Uh, we got some granite. Sorry, we'll keep you on ice. You'll be, you'll be back someday. You know what? The other Jamie will build your sarcophagus. Do, 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 do. Does rest serum work on desiccated corpses? You can use healing mech serum and then res serum. Healing mech serum will actually make it so it's no longer desiccated, but we're going to try to freeze it. So we don't have to worry about that. It's a good thing we saw that quest up, though, honestly. We would have had a lot more deaths. So, these these people sacrifice themselves so that we might survive. Let's use that. Uh, not to go in vain. Yeah, we're going to put it on ice yet so we can res him. Jamie, if we get a uh, rest serum, you'll be the first to get it. So. And a freezer? I already said it to you. Yep. And we'll make this an actual freezer here in just a moment. So what do we want to do? Let's just go ahead and clear everything. Allow food, not rotten. Uh, we'll do corpses. Colonist corpse only. Uh, animal corpses. Drugs, warts be fine. Preferred. Cooler is two for freezer. I like to keep them on the cooler end. That way if we have like a solar event or something that happens, power goes out for a little bit, uh, it'll go back up. I usually stagger them as well. So somewhere in like the teens on Fahrenheit or if you're doing um, uh, Celsius, it's more like what, like around negative 15 or something like that. So a little, a little under freezing, or maybe a little bit less than that. Negative five, negative ten. Something, something in that range. And I usually will stagger them too. So if, if we're having, if we're using batteries, I'll stagger them by about two degrees each. That way, if we don't need all of them running at once to keep it cool, then the other ones will turn off. Yeah, uh, usually around there too. Just depends. It also depends on what clothing you have, like. If you have better clothing, you can keep it cooler because people aren't going to complain when they go in there to get food. We actually need to now convert this into a real uh, a real freezer. So I need to get rid of this door. The wall there. Meat grinder. People go in one end, meat comes out the other. It's true. Why do you need to put them that low? You've been keeping that 30? So that if, like, all your power goes off, things won't start to go from frozen to refrigerated and start deteriorating. So I usually make it so that if there is, like, a solar flare or something that takes out or an EMI device that lasts for a day or something like that, that your food isn't going to start, you know, it's going to stay cold during that for longer. 
Those two visitors are still dead up here. They count as colonists, unfortunately. So. No, no, they don't. That's right. They were just the visitors. Yeah, yeah. That's right. First death of the run. Sad, sad. But, like I said, we might be able to res them. We'll try. If we get a rest serum. Last time we got a rest serum in the Ancient Danger on our map. Not so lucky this time. But. Uh, this was a meteorite, yeah. That was a silver meteorite. But we planted around it, yep. Solar players don't disable mech clusters. Nope. That'd be a reason to leave EMI devices up. You get an EMI device, it's like, all right, all mechs are disabled. We'll leave this. We'll just live with no electricity for a little while. But it would be nice, yeah, if at least solar flares disabled the cluster. I think it's prop man should have already had flak we've been all right all right let's start working on it let's do until we have one flak vest 50 two or better or better salvage EMP shielded searcher from x2 yeah that'd be awesome God, an off-map EMI device is so bad. It's really terrible. A lot of times you just like, on this difficulty, you just have to move. It's like, guess I'll just die. Yeah. EMPs impact them. You think a solar flare would, but. Colonists left unburied. Yeah, yeah, I know. But they they weren't ac actual colonists. We're all the slavers, Randy. <laughs> We're all this quest you're giving us before. Yeah, they're gonna have a minus 10 quite some time because we just can't get up there and do anything about it. Eventually they'll deteriorate, but. Or can we do something about it? Shield belt. Well, the problem is if we shield belt through this, I'll be in the, we have, we only have one shield belt at the moment. But even if we did, like if it's um, if it broke it, that person's just probably dead. And if we went to, there's two corpses we have to get. And if we went to destroy these with the shield belts, uh, they were gonna explode. We might not be able to get out of the range of time. I just wanted to. I don't want to take the risk on it. All right, boom, up. Hopefully you die near a corpse. Yeah, they're not flammable, so the boomalope. The boomalope is supposed to die here. There you go. Nice. <laughs> ah. The ingenuity of this run. All right, we won't have to ride those corpses anymore. Nice. Spawns, research, back up speed pretty quick. Yeah. Kind of sucks to have to do, but... Okay, Collins are no longer left unburied. Done. Thank you for your sacrifice, Boomalope. 
I knew you'd have a great purpose. Yeah, none of that will deteriorate. So I, uh, someone mentioned the plastic laying on the ground. Plastic won't rot or anything like that. It won't deteriorate. So we'll just. All right, we don't have any traps set up yet. We're back up. Ah, uh, you'll be fine. You'll be fine. A bow only run? I did that, yeah, and it actually went better than you would think. Um, the only problem with legendary great bows, they don't have a lot of armor pin, that's it. So we actually did a run where we had uh, like 20 something colonists in late game with legendary uh, great bows. They were super accurate and it was pretty shocking how well they defended in like a kill tunnel area. Uh, it was an Amazon run, so we did a warrior woman run where we were on basically like medieval tech the whole time. And uh, we farmed up to get all legendary great bows. It was, it was pretty shocking. It, they're basically as good as rifles, only uh, not against armor. So it's not on YouTube, no. I didn't have the foresight to save those runs back in the day. Should do another one of those. 500% uh, didn't exist back then either. So we could do a 500% Amazon run. That'd be kind of interesting. But they have good armor pin. Yeah. Great bows, though, really long range, really accurate. They're they're comparable, I guess, to a really good bolt action. Only, like I said, lacking the armor pin. Wood only structures. Oh God, no. All right. Uh, how cool it is. It's unroofed. Forgot we extended this. Yeah, it was the girl only run, yeah. What's the 500%? It's raid difficulty. Yeah, it's the highest you can set it without. Uh... Oh, I missed a tile. Thank you. It's highest difficulty. You can set it in the base game without mods. Missed a tile. I don't see one. Anyway, I'll show you. Uh, so if you go into. Storyteller options. If you go to uh, losing is fun, it starts at 220, which is the typical highest. And then you can boost it up to 500%, which is a raid threat. So harder raids, basically. On the diagonal wall. Are you talking about up here? I think I hit all of them. Are you, oh, the bottom one? All right, I got you. For some reason, I thought you'd. I don't know why I read that as top left. I was like, there's nothing, there's nothing up there. Clearly it says bottom. Thank you. I don't think it actually matters, but might as well. Since we're doing it. Grenades are supposed to only run. <laughs> Start with EMP, frag all toms, replace it, ray, weaponry. That would be kind of crazy, too. Man, I don't even know. What would you... Uh, how would you do drop pod raids with explosives only? Good lord. That would suck. You have people drop in the middle of your barracks, and you're like... I guess my barracks is gone. <laughs> like, I don't know. Lots of rocket launchers. Brace the destruction. That'd be crazy. Let's have cheap furniture. Legendary pile up, pila, whatever it's called. 
37.5 damage, 15% AP. Best actually is only 12 tiles. Man. Build urgently, kind of like the hall urgently. There's probably a mod for it. I wouldn't doubt, but I'm sure there's a hall urgently in the base game. I guess we should at least get them the war mass. I've been slacking on that. Right, we don't have any chem fuel anymore. Where are the boomalopes to tame? Of course, they're up near the mech cluster. Yeah. Just make our own, obviously. But... Octoon? Yeah, it's one of my favorite. They'll literally work until they break or die or whatever. Faints. Good one. Right. Make this statue until you collapse of starvation. Solar flare. That's a big of a deal. Randy's trying to rot Jamie. To set up the clothing rule and we need to just we need to just sit tight and craft our gear before we stand anymore never meant to be two jamies i also need to decide who's gonna start the next colony they have to be able to do doctoring and construction and planting so maybe Cat just pushed his wet nose against my foot and I didn't know it was coming. <laughs> yes. Yes, I see that you're over there. Gem. It's probably germ. And then someone that's also decent at doctoring. Maybe like germ and uh, mm. murder hobo has a significant other, right? Maybe those two anyway. Murder hobo, who are you with? Corpus. Hmm. So I don't know. Germ for sure, I think though. Jair, maybe? Eh. Eh. Pirate, we need to keep him here. Quicksilver! Yeah, Quicksilver. Only a two. Ugh. Ah, it's fine. Silver and germ. Done. Cat's aging up Randy, maybe. I need to do. Yeah, thank you, Jimmy. I'm going to look at that. I probably won't get a chance to really look, dive into it until Monday or Tuesday. But I'll look. Uh, look, you get some work done. They were lurk. They were hanging out. Sorry, you're dead. But you might live again someday. Maybe. Uh, shield belts are done. I'm gonna put one of these on Bats of Pirate because he's like the frontliner here. And then who else got them? Claire, that's fine. 
and a cord. Uh, yeah, it's fine. Those three can be in the front. And they're right after our casters. Yeah, all right. That'll be easy to remember. They're already lined up. Nice. Okay. Man, we had our first siege today. First drop hot inside the base. Met clusters. Multiple diseases. It's been a very eventful stream. Two different 30 man raids. Had a lot of crap today. First death. Unfortunately. death of a mimic that was never supposed to be too well at least now when i say jamie we'll all know well, there's there will be no confusion that's for sure he was just rubbing his wet nose against my toes just very suddenly we're just sitting here like this you see where my foot is oh i'm sitting here and suddenly something wet right between my toes Playing with a cat. <laughs> All right, let's finally set this up correctly, too. Yeah, that's fine. No, that's fine. Uh, unless you can refill this with water if you would like. It's my cat light. Do you want to see one of our cats? All right, here. Here's Aries. My wife's bringing him over. What? Look, Aries. Look, Aries. See your ear. Oh no, now you guys can identify my wife by her ear. Are you gonna help me in a rim well no don't come to the rim it's a bad bad place for cats it's a bad place for everyone here inspector cat text aries you have a quarter what are you gonna do with it he's gonna buy cheese his favorite thing is cheese that cat has a human torso <laughs> it's catter day that's right Cheesy cat farts are the best. <laughs> I'm not sure I agree with that sentiment. Bye, Aries. So, see we have on my shoulder. I actually have been talking for years that I want. I need to see if I can make it so I can paint, like some um, some animal safe paint of some sort, and paint a cat tree gr like the green screen green and have it be like over beside the chair. And so it's like the cats are just floating there. So the home zone, thanks. Thank you, thank you. Uh, where'd I miss? Oh, removing the home zone, gotcha. Thank you. So I'm by. There we go. There we go. Arms are part of normal kitty cats. Let me just try that. Why so precise those home zones? Uh, because I want them to auto repair inside the home zone, but I don't want them to clean it. So. Without mods, like, I don't want them out here. If there's blood out here, I don't freaking care. I don't want them wasting time uh, cleaning up the blood in the, in the kill zone. So this is attempt number four. Tip number four of this crazy challenge. It's been an eventful day, too. Right, just 
don't want to waste the time on it. Another animal link. All right, let's see if we can get, um, thanks. You're not who I expected. My daughter. Uh, maybe we should go up the ranks on another person. We got two tier sixes. Maybe we should start going up the ranks on Jair. We do have the two stuns now. Well, maybe we should be looking for like Berserker Pulse or something like that. Yeah, the chat's going real fast. Thank you for using that. I would, I would never have caught that. Yeah, let's, let's do that. It's number four. What happened to three? Three was cursed. Uh, the final straw in three is that we were already down from a raid. We were most of our people were injured, and we were recovering in the barracks. And a drop pod raid of about two or two and a half to one uh, pirates landed inside of the barracks. So I was like, we can't defeat them. So I grabbed everyone and I took them off the tile and I was going to let the pirates just destroy that. And then we we're going to come back in and rebuild in the hull of our base. While we were doing that, in that same day, there were three additional raids. So that was just not really possible to, to come back in. It, it was just, just crazy. What's the negative effect of building close to the anima tree? It's that you get less psi focus gain. The grass, the grass isn't affected, actually. It's just a psi focus gain of... Uh, I'm meditating there. Yeah, so run number three was just, it was pulverized. And that's after the events where we lost the main colony too. It was like in addition to that. Yeah, they're still upset about the death, obviously. It's gonna take them a little bit of time. God, I hate that. The Anima Stones? Yeah, yeah, you can also, um, we have gotten them. They seem, we were talking about yesterday, actually, how rare they seem, unless you actually, like, go, you get them from quests, but they're extremely rare. Uh, you can go trade with tribals to get them, or you can attack tribal bases and just take them with you. Run three, tried three times, and Randy said no. Yeah. We don't have any on this run, in Got Okay, ready for dinner? Death for Jose, wish you luck. Beats, they were hanging out. Good luck. Good luck. Oh my god, minus 31. Insulted nine times! Uh, so, Animal Stones, Nature Shrines, etc. Increase the Psy Focus gain. So, what I... You, and you can offset the walls impacting it. I think it's up to four of them. If I remember right. Anyway, um, eventually we want to put a few nature shrines around here. As long as it's within this green circle, it'll help impact the Psy Focus gain rate. So that's what that green circle is, turns out. I just learned about the green circle yesterday. <laughs> Are we... Do we have enough material to make enough clothing now to switch over from this tattered bullcrap? Yeah, just build Stonehenge. So yeah, don't be afraid to build next to the tree. The main thing is that you gotta make sure you do not uh, have anything that's gonna cause them to make a roof. Because they will cut that tree down. So just make sure you put a remove roof area over the tree like as soon as you get onto your map so you don't accidentally do it. Uh, I've accidentally cut it down when I bought, like... You know, this is considered a room, and so they'll start roofing this if you have it. If you don't have it set. Speaking of, I'm just gonna set all this before I forget. Don't do it. Uh, are they that much wealth? I don't know if the Anima Stones are that much wealth, actually. Yeah, I haven't paid attention to it. They just trying to affect you like buildings. Yeah, they do the opposite. Yeah. All those weights. 
What happened to the tree? <laughs> they are super high wealth? That sucks. Market value is 5k. Jeez, man. Oh, did he? Yeah, he didn't get to finish. All right, he'll finish today. 5k is crazy. The red line sound up mean you were doing something wrong. Well, I mean, it does lower the side focus gain, but I think it's still worth it from the protection standpoint, you know? Uh, we got Word of Joy. We're gonna be using that more. Word of Joy does reduce their their uh, consciousness a little bit for like five days. So you gotta be careful. You put someone into a coma, <laughs> depending on what they are. Like you got someone that uh, already has lower consciousness for one reason or another. It's the first thing I did with Word of Joy. Right after Royalty came out, we got Word of Joy. Someone was having breakdowns all the time. I used it on him. It was Rakes actually, one of our mods in the chat. And uh, he had like, he had a brain injury or something, so his consciousness was already at a lower level. Put him into a coma for five days. He was happy, but he was in a coma for five days. <laughs> you had someone die from smokers. Yeah, you can do that too. If you have someone that has basically very little consciousness and they're in the hospital and you apply, you apply smoke leaf through the operations, you can kill them. <laughs> Here, I know you're struggling for breath and you can barely breathe and you have very little consciousness. Put that in their mouth. Breathe in. Tree, have everyone have abilities. Low, maintain focus would be better than having one pawn with high. Yeah. That's what, that's my philosophy too. It's like you're dead. We gotta get second base set up. I'm gonna just make the uh, Kim Fuel. I was not going to, but. Ah, uh, uh, well. Actually, I don't want that there. I don't think so, do I? No, it's fine. Coma, that'd be bliss. You're in the game, Tet. Did you, did you see? You're always complaining about not being in the game. You're here. Look at you. You're interested in chemicals. You're industrious, and you're too smart. Invader. No, I was talking about that. I'm gonna do a series where we try out the uh, some of the modded storytellers. I've never tried them. Looking forward to it. I'm actually really excited about some uh, of the playthroughs I want to do after this one that it's making me less it's making me less motivated to finish this one but it's alright this is the run so it doesn't matter all the others were just practice of course uh, no you're an animal in the last one that failed this one you're a colonist in all weapons do double damage. He sends a raid every two to three days. Reward you if none of your guys die. It's interesting. If you have 793 herbal medicine, time to sell, I would say, yeah. Have we just been... We've just been growing around that chunk this whole time. 
Surely not. Yeah, this, you could throw this in my accident, but then I have to start another one. Gotta finish. Gotta go fast. That's right. Did you watch the, uh, uh, over on Artos's YouTube, the free-for-all, the pro free-for-all on the worst Blizzard maps of all time? That was pretty fun. Psychic Droner. Psychic Droner machine with eight tribes, people, and an unknown threat. Uh, no. Haven't watched it yet. <laughs> Man, it gives me flashbacks, those stupid maps. So bad. God. Alright, we're gonna start calling number two, guys. Get all of our eggs out of this basket. Let's go, uh, let's go figure out where we're gonna settle. Do you want to do another rainforest one? I might go up here. 40, 60... Our community grows. Mm. Uh, Kiwit puts. I don't know if we're getting your name right, but thank you for the follow. I appreciate it. What kind of situation we got up here. We got 50 60 maps. It's not too shabby. Can deal with that. Problem is, I think that if we get like a droner or something right here, it can hit both. So we'd want to go up to this part. 50, 60, marble slate. Welcome to the queue. It's fine. You can do that. Oh yeah, I played thousands of games with BGH too. It was my secret obsession. Because I also played competitively, you know, played ladder and stuff. But I had alt an alt account where I just played literally thousands of BGH games. What does it take to satisfy sky high expectations? It's just, um, it's a moodlet where they get less of a bonus or no bonus from having the high wealth. So it's nothing extra you have to do. It's just they no longer get the mood benefit. And so you have to compensate other ways. Yeah, I did three on three basically all the time. Is this where I want to settle? Pretty sure BGH, it was a big game hunter as a map in StarCraft Brood War. Alright, we'll do it. Welcome to the queue. Mm -hmm. For another tile, we're gonna have a second base, yeah. Second base. Um hybrid and Silver. Just our bases? Always, yeah. Isn't it just seem like... Yeah, so as your wealth increases, it's one of the few things in the point that ha in the game that has just ab like actual breakpoints. There is a wealth number that once you pass, it will go from low expectations to the next tier, and it's just less of a mood boost. Um, so. All right, are we ready? Let's make them um, sword before they go. Oh, I don't have the... That's right, you can't make it without a mod at the machining table, so I'd have to make a um, smithy. It's fine, we need it anyway. All right, we'll do it. We still have the remnants of that mech cluster up there. Okay. Let's get worse. Yeah, so sky high expectations where they no longer get a mood boost. Um, it doesn't go beyond that, at least. 
I don't know who that is. Positive gas positives. Yeah, and there was a ton of... Uh, it also had two gases where normal mass only had one. Uh, in addition to that, it had a lot of extra mineral patches. It was a very imbalanced map positionally, but it was uh, it was a map that you didn't have to expand on. You were basically never going to run out of minerals. Uh, let's get this done. Quest available. Tony and the Tactic Spear. 11 man hunting alpha beavers. Uh, no. Starting to mine. Xander flashbacks. Alpha Beavers. Oh man, we're finally pulling more power than we're using. I mean, uh, than we're producing. Should we collect your nice? All right. You guys come through that way and push that cluster off. That'd be awesome. Nope. Nope. No such luck. So when those two are done, uh, Sil Quicksilver and Hybrid Germ are going to go start a new base. A second map. Let's go on Mill House. Welcome in. In the mountains somewhere. Fire creativity on Zot. Well, use it on the uh, on their construction. But probably just not gonna do anything with it. Stage. Come on, you can finish that sword. It's fine. Heat stroke on the remaining Jamie. Ah, oh, you're fine too. Okay, one sword down. Uh, Quicksilver, that is yours. Who's working on this next one? Claire's working on this one too. Nice. That's right, because she was still uh, being forced to do so. <laughs> I forgot to cancel her work order. It's fine though. Get it done. It's gonna need rest soon. Thrumbo horns? No, we haven't seen. We haven't had a single thrumbo event actually. Now, come to think of it, I mean we're only on year two, right? But yeah, not a single thrumbo event. Rabbit's not. Yeah, I know. She needs rest. We oh, got yeah, the sword done. Food binge on Prion. It's fine. I don't even know it's okay too. Welcome back. Your steadfast loyalty is Irish Red Cap. Thirty-two months. Uh, thank you, Irish. Very much appreciated. What happened to Hairball? Uh, his spine was destroyed, so we need to make him a spine sometime. When we get there, uh, but his spine was destroyed in a raid. Just resub the day. It probably had you share the anniversary instead of actually resub. Thank you, Irish. Very much appreciated. Yeah, spine destroyed in a raid. So now they just lay in bed and occasionally they're 
loved one will come and I'll get three to seven lovings a night. Spine or no spine. All right, Claire, finish this so we can get those guys off to the new base. The LD, Paladin, welcome back. Thank you for the look. This one's going to germ. New anima link. Chair, that one's for you. All right. Prefer the Scottish blue hat to the Irish red cap. <laughs> All right. Uh, Quicksilver reserve. Ah, uh, you guys can make a mask over there. Even if that's something terrible. Let's do this. Jam. Quicksilver. Uh, take all the pemmican with you. Let's see, two meals a day, two of you. Mm, let's just take like 12 and you're gonna have to deal with whatever you find over there in the meantime. Uh, we need an exotic goods trader. We haven't had a single one of those either. We need to get the comms console up. That'll help us with that. That's it guys. We don't have a power cell or anything, so. Goodbye. Good luck. Godspeed. Have fun at second base. Oh, I should have brought med. med yeah, I was thinking that too. Hmm. Yeah, let's reload. Because they get there and they immediately get sick or something. And they're not even good at doctoring. Yep. Bad time. So Quicksilver. Germ. Uh, 12 simple meals. Uh, and then... Like... Ah, just four medicine. No, they'll be fine. They'll be fine. Alright. Now... All right, Jared, what'd you get? Beckon. Beckon, I don't know. Uh, it's probably not gonna help us that much this run, honestly, but whatever. Gets us closer to the higher tiers, I suppose. All right. Did it all fit in that one? What's the... Fine. Just forfeit the fight. Yeah, you can forfeit. That's fine. All right with that. Uh, it was that tile, I believe. Let's double check. 50, 60, two types of material. That's it. Yeah, I don't know. That's a good question. If we use Beckon on the second one that can fire when collision happens, would it ignore... I don't know. We'll have to test it out. If it does, that would be awesome. And then, I mean, as soon as it gets engaged, obviously it's going to uh, cancel it, but it can't get engaged till the first one's dead. So maybe. No, because it was still, uh, you know, it still counts. So can't, the name is just a little too long as well. All right, here we go. Goodbye. All right, here we go. Base number two. We have become a multi-colony faction. That's interesting. I mean, that, that's not sapper-proof. Oh, that's so, that's so sad. That's, man, look at that. That'd be so nice. There's rich soil there. There's a like steam vent. Raids can actually happen from there though. 
the anima tree is in a really terrible spot for us. Looks like you guys won't be anima treeing anytime soon. Okay, we're gonna build in here. rich soil down there there's some right there not too concerned with that hmm. All right. welcome back your steadfast loyalty is greatly appreciated all right we'll go ahead and uh, just do a little planting here who is that? Whoa, whoa, 18 months. Uh, twins, that's how that works. If you have twins, you gotta gestate for 18 months, seven, nine. Uh, Bo, thank you for the resub, very much appreciated. I'll answer the question about the multiple colonies in just a sec. That's part of the reason, yes. Make sure they don't put a roof. Uh, actually, it's fine for the roof thing. Share some of the wall, I suppose. Okay. Switch this over to. This. Do we have stone that we could confiscate? I'd much rather have it out of stone, but there's. I mean, there's this, but steel. Ah, uh, we'll just start with the uh, with wood, and then we'll go from there. So the point of the base is kind of twofold. One of it is, like you said, like a backup. So if this base falls, we can start a new uh, at the other one and maybe continue the run and win. So it's a kind of a contingency plan, the not having all your eggs in one basket. Humans need to get off Earth, so if Earth is destroyed, we can continue our species, that sort of thing. We can maintain our research. The other thing is they have their own uh, wealth and population curve. So that colony will get a lot more, uh, a lot smaller raids that they can deal with if we just keep their wealth really low. And they also get way more recruitment events and things like that. So we can be really particular about who they recruit. And when they recruit godlike pawns or when this uh, colony needs more people, when some of these die or whatever, we can recruit them very quickly over there and send them to this colony. So those are the two main reasons. It's a recruitment, recruitment center on Mars, basically. 
Jade auto door. Yeah, we're not there yet. Research gets shared between. Yes. Yeah. So your research is your entire faction on your current playthrough. So on your current playthrough, your your research is global, but your population curve uh, and how it affects events, your wealth and how it affects raids uh, are not shared. They're individual. So we go to this colony and we look at our wealth. We're at 65,000. Ugh. If we go to this one, we're at 5,000. So a raid here would be one to two enemies. Uh, so researching is only limited. You can only do one research at a time, but you increase your research speed the more people you have researching at once. So we could have more research benches here or on this colony to increase the speed, but we can still only research one thing at a time. All right. Uh, you guys, we gotta get this done. Oh, they weren't ones that were in a re relationship, right? No. Oh, they don't even like each other. Um, yeah, I need to switch this off for the beginning of this colony. So... There we go. There we go, that should help. Camp, you likely six full day. Yeah. Well, right now, yeah, our, our mood is already at this colony is going to be a lot higher because of the extremely low expectations. So we don't need as many ways to boost their mood. So, yeah, we'll probably sit on the full normal day schedule until everything is just settled and we'll do it. Does selling stuff increase or decrease wealth? It decreases wealth. Oh, selling stuff? It generally decreases wealth because the you you're doing it at a loss. So, I think it depends though. But in general, yeah, it's a it's a way to lower your wealth. Yeah. It's colonies, super emerald dude. So for anyone that wants to do this, uh, you have to go into your options and change maximum number of colonies. Just an in-game option. You can go up to five without mods. Once you do that, you just caravan to a tile and you hit settle. Yeah, yeah. So selling it for silver. Yeah, you're going to trade it at a loss. It's two thirds. Two thirds. Uh, pawns that recreate at the same time or have jobs that they're hanging out and doing together will be more likely to become uh, friends. Yeah. Unless there's like something that causes them not to. Like they're misogynist, misandrist, whatever. Those kind of things kind of override that. But yeah. Or can cause social issues. Yeah, and we'll transport pod stuff back and forth between the two colonies. So. Okay, they are out of food. Uh, I expect there to be more berries right off the bat. So that's unfortunate, but... One's at four. They're both at four. Okay. 
Well, they're not out of food yet, but they, they will be. They will be. Well, let's get ready to lower wealth too. Yeah, yeah, for sure. It's in unsafe transfer pods for the mortar shells yeah, or corpses or something. Yeah, even with like a super computer, RimWorld's not gonna run great, especially when you get multiple colonies up and running you. How's it going, Tello? Welcome back. Tile, how to instantly adapt. Oh yeah, I haven't updated that since the new one. Thank you. Yeah, this is the newest addition to the base and I just forgot to add it. That's all. door in here now too. Right. Look at that, you guys get your own rooms at this colony? What do you know? What do you know? Moving up in the world. Yeah. Regulations. I think I want to say someone told me they changed it, but uh, there's something. Yeah, I think they did change it because there we even had something happening um, in our last modless playthrough where we did the five percent Cassandra, where if you sent like living creatures, it wouldn't give you any rep at all. None. Even it would tell you it would, and then when it landed, you wouldn't get any. I don't know if that's a bug or if it was an intended thing. I think that's what happens with uh, corpses now too. We have everything now. No animal attacks today. Hmm. Kind of interesting. We had a ton of them just the other day. All right. And then we'll get that set up. And then we'll be good. There we go. Thanks. I'm blind, by the way. <laughs> Sometimes. Uh, never s checked. Yeah, I don't know if it was an intended thing or a bug, but it, I, it wasn't mod related because we were using mods. But in the Cassandra one, we were trying to ally with the M Empire. And uh, I started doing it and I was like, why aren't we getting rep for this? And then Pilot Wash was like, yeah, I noticed that too. Because uh, we were trying to send them like extra chickens or something as part of the wealth. He's like, it's something to do with the living animals. You send them and uh, and you won't get any of the the rep, so. Thanks. <laughs> so I, I don't know if it was a bug or what, but that's how it was working in that run. And that run's all up on YouTube now. They're all up on YouTube. The entire run is on YouTube now. Uh, I know their name because someone mentioned it, but I've never really watched their stuff. I see their name also uh, in my on my YouTube stats. It'll show like people that watch your channel also watch these channels, and his is up there. It's one of the like three highest ones people watch to watch mine. So. But I haven't checked it out yet. Seems like it's a bug. You should be able to trust with you. Yeah, because we kept sending them. We were like 15 off and I kept sending wealth to them and it would just not give us any, even though it said we were like 17, 18, etc. Thighs for you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How's that person's uh, Mass Effect run going, Pineapple?
Last spell? Yeah, I I tried it out just a little bit. I haven't tried it on stream yet. These are 395 pawns. So it's going to just become a slideshow. Not a RimWorld playthrough. <laughs> are we lagging so much? You can just get like one FPS. How do you know if it's still RimWorld or if it's like PowerPoint at that, at that stage? I know, Inspector. Can you believe it? I thought I was the only, <laughs> the only streamer. Play for an hour and you like it has potential. Yeah, a lot of people suggested it. It looks like something I would like. I just haven't had the chance to really get into it and really try it out yet. Hopefully. Maybe this place could have a floor. Absolutely not. Are you kidding me? Floors. Listen to this guy. Floors. It is, it is kind of funny, though, because I was talking to someone about it. Uh, I mean, it does matter, especially if you get a lot of flooring. But for the wealth of that elephant, we could have like 80 tiles of flooring. <laughs> but the flooring doesn't help us kill raiders. That's the thing. When the flooring can rise up and amalgamate into like some kind of defensive golem. Then. Golem? No, golem. Yes, it does. No, everyone here is like having the time of their lives. The floor is not going to make them happier. It's, just, it's not. There's an ancient danger. Yeah, I actually saw it uh, right here. There's at least one that's exposed. Yeah, flooring is going to make it dirtier. It's going to take more time to clean it. So, Rim World, uh, War Mod. Someone mentioned the name of it, but I haven't looked at it yet. Yeah, so there's at least one exposed um, ancient danger here that we'll uh, we'll begin at some point. Let's go and sleep. Uh, I do pop the caskets. I'm a little more concerned about it on this melee run because I can't do what I usually do. What I usually do is I make a trap at the exit point of all of them, and then I will shoot one of them, and then all the people that get out hit the trap. But who needs floors when you have dirt? Exactly. Exactly. It's more home zone than I usually do, but they need things to do. Floors equal dirt and dirt. Ground equals dirt. That's right. Uh, dirt can't get dirty. So. It's like in real life. Dirt can't get dirty, right? Mm-hmm. We got two people here. Let's see. It's four. Twelve. Fifteen. We need about uh fifty. Well there's all this map isn't a year long growing either. So we should probably go like 40, 45 plots, I'm guessing. Somewhere around there. No, it can't get it literally can't get dirty. <laughs> it can get blood, it can get trash on it, but it literally can't accumulate dirt. Water can't get wet. Ten by six. That should be more than enough. Once it starts actually getting getting done, I think I'm gonna leave it as potatoes. Actually, dirt floors have dirt. Yeah, yeah. Clean us a negative one. Yeah, and so you can't get food poisoning from a, from dirt. So your kitchen should be dirt. So in their driveway, I think. You ought to do a sweeper driveway. I know. I think the same thing. Dirty or dirt? Not in Rim Worlds. So, one of the tricks is to have your kitchen uh, in a room that's a dirt floor. Because as long as it's not like full of blood and stuff, the, the floor is going to stay at negative 0.97. And the. I believe the uh, food poisoning from dirty area starts at negative one or past negative one. So if you keep your cooking surface in a 
clean dirt room, then uh, you won't have to worry about food poisoning from that kind of thing. You always rust floors in your kitchen? I'm telling you, man. Floors are such a trap in this game. Aside from research and, uh, and like, hospital beds and stuff, it's, it's such a big trap. It feels wrong. Fix the dirt thresholds. I, I don't know. What was it previously? Well, I mean, right here it's negative 0.97 cleanliness for dirt. And then the the food poisoning thing is, I think, once you get past negative one. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know when they changed it. If they changed it. I never noticed a change, but... Yeah, I think I got it all now. We got the heel root. Oh, the stone is averaging it down. I see. So usually it's negative one. And then still though, once you get past negative one is when like the food poisoning chance increases. Yeah, I didn't even notice the stone there. <laughs> Definitely don't smooth that, though. We can even test it here, I suppose. Yeah, yeah. So it's negative one. Which is still just the dirty one. Yeah, I didn't notice the stone. Oh, crap. I forgot to put them back on work after the cobra died. Okay, I think you guys are going to be okay. Uh, we need a little bit of steel. We're first facility destroyed dirty dirt. Army chemical depot. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't want it in the wall zone. I'm going to fix it after we change where the door is, because this is a new addition to the base. this there you go it's the longest conversation about dirt you've ever had <laughs> it's time you went to the dirt factory Mubus should be overhauled. I believe so too, yeah. Booster mood, higher expectations, need to make your room look nicer, the floor. Yeah. Yeah, I definitely think. I think if they ever make a second room world, I don't know if they will. That's one of the main things that should be completely overhauled. I really like the addition, and maybe they can even do it with this one. I really like the wealth independent mode. It feels more like the game, how the game should be played. It really does. Wealth independent mode, if you haven't tried it out, it was added in 1.2. When you go into a game, when you start a game, go into your custom storyteller settings. It's down here. Wealth independent progress mode. If you turn this on, the game scales with time and not wealth. And it feels much better. And you can make it harder by putting the years lower or easier by putting them higher, but uh, it's it feels more like how the game should be. You, you don't, you're then not worried about your wealth. You're worried like, can I, and another weird thing about the wealth thing is like, if you have a really bad raid and a lot of your base is destroyed and whatnot, enemies suddenly attack you less and with less force. It's like, we've weakened them. Next time, let's send a half strength raid. But in, in this mode, if they weaken you, the next raid's gonna hit harder. It makes sense. They're like, all right, we've 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 broken their defenses. 
Let's double down. Let's destroy them. So it, it gives you this like panic, like, oh God, I have to get all this stuff done and rebuild other than, aside from being like, all right, I can sit back and the next raid is going to be a little bit easier. So we'll, we'll probably be able to handle it as long as we have people left alive. I don't know. The wealth independent mode feels more like, like you're not, you can build what floor you want and even on 500% and walls and all that crap without like, oh my God, if I, if I put a floor in this entire barracks, the next raid will have four more people. Like, that's not going to happen. So, uh, if you haven't tried it out, highly recommend. Some wealth independent mode. So. What do you usually do? Just, uh... Bed rolls? Uh, the whole game? Sebastian. Yeah. That is true. Mm -hmm. Uh, oh, I don't have anyone set for mining here. So, Rainy's chilled down on, or chilled out a little bit on this base. Chilled down. That's what people say. Uh, after you tried to kill us early game. So, that's nice. Or, I mean, early stream. One. Yeah, it's it's a lot of fun. Try it out. It's pretty nice. You can afford to make them playing cotton. Make mm -hmm. Would this run be? Who's nearby? It's that. Bears. I think everyone got inside. Oh no, Jamie. Uh, so what I found out about wealth independent mode is it is harder in the early game by a lot, but if you can get ahead of the curve, it becomes a lot easier. case. So, with this run, would it be easier or harder? It would probably be harder because... Hmm. Yeah, I think so. Because right now, we're keeping our wealth low so the raids stay smaller so we can handle it. And that one, I guess what we'd have to do is try to rush, like, super rush wealth and buy really good equipment. But I think... I think it would be harder in wealth infinite mode. This exact challenge, with that being the only difference. It's not that many bears, actually. Man, they must be... So 10 grizzly bears, I guess, in raid terms, is the equivalent of like 50 tribals. Doesn't seem quite right. All oh, rush well. Challenge to a billion wealth and survive on oh, normal wealth mode too, or return to the golden floors, that sort of thing. Oh, that's true. Yeah, you could have rolled the 0.5. That's a good point. So Randy can roll anywhere from a 0.5 to, I think, a 2 on raid difficulty. So sometimes raids are twice as hard as they should be, and sometimes they're half strength. Get ability wealth and descend. See what max wealth ship launch looks like. Yeah, that would be really crazy. A speed run, but let's see how fast you get to 10 million wealth while still surviving. All right, let's finally set this up. I've waited way too long. 
tattered clothing's not a big deal. We're keeping the mood up anyway, but we might as well set it up while we're waiting. Uh, so we'll just go... I can do one melee. Uh, 51 or better. Normal or better. Don't allow tainted. Headgeared. War mask, war veil. Armor will allow that. Utility. I want to control these ones aside from shield belt, so I'm fine with them. Could be that. Noble, I'll do that myself. Button down, duster, we want those. Caster stuff, I'll do myself. So, button down, duster, and pants. About to have a lot of nudity here. I don't think we have enough uh, material. Let's find out. We can switch it back if we need to. What are they forced to wear? All right, yeah, that's fine. X-rated stream. Host Royal Ascent. Oh man, that was crazy. Yeah, we did the double victory on the 20 year run. That was really crazy. Huh. What do you know? We actually had enough clothing. Nice. So now we can switch this back to uh, do until we have one. Yeah. It's like all these function, it's twofold. So one is so that if this gets wiped, we can continue on with the second colony uh, with our research intact. And they have their own wealth population uh, curve, so they can recruit thing or people much more easily. They have a lot, they don't down enemies as quickly or insta-kill insta them when they down them as, as often. Um, they have more joint events, stuff like that. So we can be really particular about the colonists that we get here, and then we can send those back to the other guys. So they're just going to sit here, survive, and uh, keep their wealth at like ten thousand, so they can handle all the all the raids. And if the if something bad should happen, we'll evacuate who we can here. We'll rebuild at this map, make a bunker city, because two people against bugs sounds like a bad idea. The like times are basically like living money. No, I'm not going to do it. Not with two people hanging out here. So. A billion wealth rate probably explode the computer, probably. And I, also, and I also don't want any money from this one. So part of the point of this one is to keep them, not now. now so, so part of the point is to keep them super low wealth. Like, if the reason I chose a mountain map is if this other colony falls, and then we bring people over, then we'll probably make a mountain base. But uh, in the meantime, these guys are just going to live here as ascetic monks next to a, in the foothills of the mountains. Hoping that the worst doesn't befall the other colony. But if it does, yeah, then we'll think about doing that. Oh, Tet, I had you close that door and then I completely forgot you existed. I'm good at that. Oh, God, Tet. Tet! Oh, dead in four. All because I left him drafted while I was <laughs> explaining things. He's fine. He's fine, guys. Don't worry. Yeah, see, we got we got some uh, medical experience out of that. He's got catharsis. Why do you go out? He had a breakdown. 
So when they're when they're having a breakdown, they will ignore uh, restricted doors and things like that. He had a mental break because I forgot. Uh, I had him shut this door so the grizzly bears couldn't get in, and then I left him drafted on accident. Like the main base in case, yeah, yeah, that's where that, what that, it's gonna be there. Yep. What wealth? I think we're about seventy thousand. Yeah, higher than I wanted to be. I kind of wanted to say around fifty, but. I accidentally went above. Leather, yeah. maybe. I mean, don't don't really have a lot of leather. But we we have we have eighty four. <laughs> yeah, these are very very little wealth too. But it's hoping for a um, an arms dealer. But I'll probably end up dumping some of this stuff in the river like we have been doing. Or we could just burn it ourselves. Elephant, horn, elephant tusks are adding a bit of wealth, but most of the wealth from this colony is, uh, let's see here. It's, it's pretty even split. 20,000 in items, 20,000 in buildings, 20,000 colonists basically. We already had an auto join over here. Call into this on a story wall if they had something like a Zeus hammer. I don't know. Maybe. I don't know. Walls are pretty high HP for them to do it. Because they usually give up on a single tile and go over to another. Uh, all right. Do we want to keep you? Probably not. All right. Bears, are you almost done? Floating the plants rivers of garbage? Well, I mean, it wasn't garbage, it was corpses. We, we've, we've let hundreds of corpses rot in that river. People sent off fires to cause toxic fallout. That's right, this planet's screwed, man. That's why everyone's trying to get off of it. We're trying to get to a glitter world. Screw the rim worlds. Wow, good job, guys. Thanks for visiting. Man, do I want to keep you over here? Maybe, I don't know, I'll decide. Don't make any friends. In the meantime, yeah, that's good. Cut those rocks. Might keep you. Perhaps. I don't want to go above, oh, tech. And Tet, you almost died. I was close. He's up though. Is he not gonna get an infection? Oh, he's gonna have scars.
We need to segment base more for when we have more drops. Do that sometimes too. They can deal with smaller rooms. What's how's on the fastest? So things deteriorate faster in, in water, basically, yeah. I haven't tested between like river versus still water versus swamp or something. Uh, but if you have any kind of water tiles, that'll make it deteriorate faster, yeah. I should test to see which ones. That way, if you have multiple on your map, you know where to dump. But I haven't done that yet. Community grows. Oh yeah, my pleasure. Thank you, Sword. Uh, fire. Thank you for the follow. Welcome in. Quick silver. Uh, I shouldn't name it the same, or else when we have an event. I don't know right away. Uh, so we're gonna go with. Uh, I'm just gonna name it too. Then we'll know. There we go. Calling to Monk Mountain. <laughs> that way, if it pops up right off the bat, I'll be like, all right, Chupa Cobra. <laughs> Cobra might be the hero of this run, so I might have to name the next run. I mean, this is the run. There will be no next. Uh, Crash Shuttle. 21 Glitter World Medicine, man. Uh, are the bears still here? So we're gonna leave this here, and if there's like uh, a raid, we might accept it, especially if they're angry at, at these people. Anyway, I, I don't really care to accept it right now. We'll leave it in reserve for these hours. Bears have fallen asleep. They'll be leaving the map when they wake up. Well, that one's not asleep. Interesting thing. The Refugee Empire. How would you have power? 640. Get it, bear. Oh, come on, bear. That cluster's still there. All right, time for another link of the animatory. Uh, Jerry, let's have you eat a meal first. This is going to take a while. Still not sold on Eviler here. He's not bad, but I'm trying to keep this really, really low. Yeah, I think I'm just going to send him on. See what our uh, chance of arresting is, though. Forty percent, seventy-five. Throw him in the river. Take his cowboy hat. Kibble fascination, horrible. It's not as bad as it used to be. Yeah, it's still not one that I want really, but uh, they made it so it's not quite as bad. Yeah, same thing with chemical interest. Chemical interest now is almost like I used to wouldn't take interest or um, fascination, but now interest is like not a, not a big deal at all. And then fascination is like if they're really good, otherwise you can keep without too much of an issue. Lebowski abides. Thank you for the follow. Welcome in. I think the bears 
are no longer that much of a threat, at least so that we can open the door. Let's make sure I undraft Jamie after this. There we go. Is that the last one that's actually like actively attacking? I think so. How's it going, Drain? Barely any threats. <laughs> Go, Bear. Watching this. Take it out. Oh, it's because he's pathing off the map. Yeah. So he's not aggroed anymore. That sucks. Ah, well. The gentle chinchillas. Keep three chinchillas at Colony 2 for 13 days. No. I refuse. That bear could have made it. That old friggin' jungle's burning down. Uh, so we're going to make the game of Ur, Ur, whatever it's pronounced, instead of uh, Hoopstone, because uh, it's very insignificant. However, Hoopstone uh, and Horseshoes and Billiards do give a little bit of shooting experience, just a little bit. And if, by some chance, eventually that experience is enough to increase their skill in shooting, then that means that is wasted wealth. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's really, that's like super min-maxing that you don't really need to worry about. But I mean, I might as well, right? It's like, this will add to intelligence. So eventually these guys, it'll help them with the research and whatnot, but. Oh no, they've, they've gained 50 more points of wealth. For one extra skill point in their shooting. The colony is doomed. Fast learner, steadfast, hard worker. Uh, we're going to take them as we're trying to ally, but... If they auto-join, then I'm not complaining. Recreation staff increases their skills. Yeah, it's a very little bit of or, uh, experience. So you can watch while they're doing recreation. If you click on them and you hover over the skill. Uh, chess and the telescope and the game of Ur. Ur, however you pronounce it. Uh, I'll add to intelligence and um, billiards, horseshoes, and um, hoopstone. I'll add a little bit to shooting experience. TV adds to nothing. You learn nothing while watching TV. All right, Jerry, what did you get this time? Word of Serenity. That'll come in handy. Yeah, I'll show you next time you're doing it. What? Oh crap, what was that? Because I uh, I was trying to right-click off something else. Party, nice. Me learn nothing? That's impossible. Are you an orc? Malaria at this colony is not good at all. That sucks. We're gonna have to send them better medicine or something. Crap. Oh well. Well, we'll see. Oh, we don't have our, uh, we have, don't have our trap set up yet. May I actually have some, some uh, medicine? We get rid of a little, little bit of wealth this colony too, I suppose, so it's not a bad idea in general. Uh, what else might they need over there? They're gonna have plenty of food here really soon. A little bit of blocks. There's a door on fire. 
Oh, it, it's raining. Yeah, it should be fine. Was it this one up here? Should be okay, though. Yeah, the rain got it. <clears throat> Me not that kind of orc. Yeah, we were talking about uh, RTS is doing the uh, repeating words over and over and over thing. And uh, I don't know what it is about their billions, but it got so annoying. And, they're, and I don't know if it's because of what they actually are, like the... Uh, man, we have way too much wood now. But like, last night was amazing. Like that over and over. Maybe it's because they have so few voice lines. It's like, I had to turn their character voices almost all the way down. I think we eventually turned them off on the no pause run that we did of the Air Billions. I was just cleaning my weapon. You're paying me for this, right? Ah, uh, you can rebuild the roof. Their mods have changed them, yeah. I, uh, I've watched someone play that used a StarCraft voice mod for it. Oh, that tier has dementia. No one or some after us. Great idea. No, I'm just kidding. They're actually beating the malaria. So. Might not have been, uh, might have panic sent the medicine, but whatever. Still upset about Jamie dying? Yeah, it does suck. Amazon's getting good at those deliveries. <laughs> Amazon better not be destroying my roof to deliver my whatever cat food or something. Rainy, maybe it gave up on this base. Man, earlier in the stream, this is just getting pounded on stuff. Shouldn't complain, though. Should not complain. Are you about done? You are done. Good. Good. Got a new sword here yet? Nope. We need to get more of that steel. Man, we got way too much food. Kind of panic grew a bunch down here. I think I'm going to stop sewing on this one. Hopefully we get a bulk goods vendor. Uh, that's another thing we need to get set up, actually. We need our comms console up. Sorry, Tet. Remember that time I almost got you killed by bears? Yeah, me either. No. The debt. The debt. Uh, let's see here. Should have put that inside one of these. Oh, well. I'll get over it. Jeremy, you're gonna be just fine. Alright, let's get the new medicine used here. Thirty-five or twenty-three. Yeah, he's still beating it, but he can't finish. He keeps throwing up. Man, I would. Oh no! I should have waited. <laughs> Three point six. He would have been better off just tending to himself. Oh, that's rough. Three point six percent tin quality. Jesus. Uh oh. You just wouldn't stop throwing up. 
Is there a room with only alpha and beta items in it? Oh man. It's rough. Ambrosia. So I'm not gonna do this, but uh with industrial meds, yeah. That's the lowest I've ever seen with uh with industrial meds. Uh, I guess the area was dirty too, because he just thrown up there. Plus he's sick. Plus, he's a bad doctor. So, uh, for anyone that gets this event and you want the Ambrosia eventually, but you don't want to have to worry about remembering where it is, you can set up a grow zone around it and then just turn off sowing. It doesn't have to be this big. And as long as your pawns are able to go there, as soon as the Ambrosia has grown enough that it's, uh, you know, when it's harvestable, when it's fully harvestable, they'll come harvest it without having to, um, or without replanting anything. So just put a growing zone, turn off sowing, Forget about it. Eventually, they'll go get it. I don't want it, though. You like the glitter tech mod? I've never used that one. I know that one's a pretty popular one, too, but I haven't used it. Uh, I can drop a thrumbo without angering it. Keep an eye on this for a second. Yeah, he's still gaining on it somehow. I swear though, I'm gonna have him tend to himself, I think. I think he's still gonna do a better job than uh, Germ in his current state. Yeah, I think I'm gonna go back down to this. We're just hold the medicine for something else. Armor piercing missiles. You swore and how to use them. I haven't played with whatever mod that is. It's an overhaul and there are new materials, weapons, armor, items. It's cool, but there's also new factions that hit harder than the other ones. Let's see what he gets 10 quality this time. There's a Thrumbo subhuman class. Yeah, let's clean up your vomit first. Zero percent. He's trying to kill Quicksilver. It's crazy. Horns look cool coming through the armor in combat. They get enraged, they get happier, more damage resistant. I would drop into Doctor. I want to see what he does with self tending, just out of curiosity. I probably shouldn't screw around with that, but I mean, he's beating it pretty handily, so I'm going to see what he does. Good lord, man. Caroline, thank you for the follow. Welcome in. Secure Valeria. Uh, well, at least to treat it. Almost got too many new subs today. Wait, how? I don't have the the thing up. How many do we have? Nine out of ten. What? How'd that be too many? That'd be almost exactly enough. Yeah, yeah, I don't think you can go negative. I've never seen it, so. You know, I think if it was possible, Jerm would have done it. Yeah. 
You will join us or die. Go! Misfortune favor the gift sub to Soren Chair. Soren, look at you. Uh, misfortune, 98. Thank you, Misfortune. Very much appreciated. Much love to that Misfortune. Thanks, Misfortune. Now, Soren, you get no ads here and you can spread the emotes on Twitch. Our most popular emote is the Gasm emote for some reason. Thanks, Nancy. And I still learn things every every playthrough. I have a uh, bunch of RimWorld guides up, and now that I'm taking an extra YouTube day, I'm going to be putting more of them up. Uh, so you can always check that out if you haven't already. I got stuff on there. Visitors. All right. So we're at 10 in four hours. All right. You have more than one smoke sphere. You got one on your map and in all... Uh, on the world map. Yeah, that sucks. Yeah, I hate those off, uh, off map ones. Oh, are we going to defeat this mech cluster finally? Look, we're, we're doing it. I think you're out of smoke pops. I didn't see you. Hey, Abuela down here we're not using them so it's fine we did it we beat the mech cluster you can tell because we have the uh, the bonus for having defeated it so that was all us nice we did it good job team performance like that we might make it off this world oops Yeah, those visitors did. Um, man, that was an, uh, an auto mortar one initially as well. So, yeah, pretty lucky with how things. Go. All right, Quicksilver, let's see what happens here. Yeah, you got a quality of ten percent. Look at that. I'll do it myself. Okay, he's fine. So we have two. Got you into RimWorld? It's awesome. That's the only you can have to do something great. <laughs> Not me. Rice every day, all day, forever. Suck it up. How's it going, Tax? Welcome in. Structure. Let's go with this late door here. So we can close it if we ever need to. All right, Tet, look at you out there at the edge of the net. Pretty ballsy, I gotta say. earlier to the sickle cell thing with malaria. I haven't, I haven't heard what is that about? I was talking on the stream before about how um, we're talking about it started because we were talking about mosquitoes and we started talking about how scientists estimate that more people over the course of all human history and evolution, more people have Welcome died of malaria Your steadfast uh, spread by mosquitoes than any, anything else. And it's like a huge number. Like, it was like 70% of all people that have ever lived have died of malaria. That's what they estimate. Obviously, they can't know, but um, the article about it is pretty fascinating and, and crazy. Cthulhu Girl, two months. You're back. Back for another month. Thank you, Cthulhu Girl. Very much appreciated. I have to show you my, uh, my Cthulhu book. I have a collector's tome of Lovecraft and all the pages are that kind of material from like the, the old school Bibles, like that really thin, I don't even know what you call a paper, like that silky paper. So there's no joke. Yeah. It's crazy, man. 
crazy. Uh, I need to put a door over here for us to still get out. So We'll get that done. We might send them a little bit of food just to get some uh, off of here. Yeah, yeah, the vellum paper. Yeah, thank you. I can remember. How's it going, Corbin? Or vellum, just vellum. <laughs> Find it crazy. The US will get rid of it. Sounds like a good book. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. <laughs> He's gonna beat it. Nice. It's bound in human skin. <laughs> Actually, I'm gonna put the doors on this side. That way, that's the one they, they they won't break them on the way out. So, we'll just put the doors on this side. That'll do. That'll do. Heat stroke. All right. Single cell anemia offers some protection. From malaria comes a recessive trait in areas that had malaria. Sustrion, as population has moved in despite being recessive, it also tenacious as a trait. Yeah, that's interesting. I haven't seen anything about that. Hmm. Used to be used to treat syphilis. I haven't seen that before either. How are we doing on grass growth? 11. Yeah, that is pretty interesting. Uh, this colony's first raid. It's two people with guns. We don't have traps set up yet. Um, it looks like they're attacking immediately. Yeah, they are. Tell them that we're gonna get that up in time. As long as neither of them are tough, we should probably still be okay. Hey, we have our first allies. Gourmand, careful shooter. That one's actually pretty good at melee. Get there, get there. Okay. There we go. Come on, germ. Come on, germ. Oh, okay. Crab set up. Ten four hours. Ooh, he might die anyway.
Doctor's here. House call. <clears throat> What's the best weapon for crowd control? Neuroquake. <laughs> I don't know. That's pretty rough. 100 defenders and you it, it's on their terms, you know? It's really hard. Yeah, we had a lot of trouble with those in the 20 year run too. Yeah, I mean, I guess miniguns, doomsday rockets, triple rocket launchers, crazy stuff like that. But sorry, the dark dungeon runs you did. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe in a weird in a way because this one is also um like. It's not turn-based. You don't have to actually do the mechanics of it. So maybe in a weird way. Zerg Pulse, yeah. Well, Zot, looks like you're staying here for a little bit. Sorry. Uh, I didn't uh, intend for it to be this way, but. It's the way it goes sometimes. Sometimes there be groups and they win for you. We got some water up here. It's perfect for corpses. Critical corpses, uh, human like, stranger only. That in this zone. Yeah. Let's go ahead and set that for sewing again. All right. Well, they're going to live. Just barely. We'll probably send them some food, too. Uh, we gotta keep an eye on if this is a red mountain or not, because I think it might be within 30 tiles. It's not a red mountain. That's good. Faction. Well, we do have the extra medicine. There we go. Clean that up. All right, there we go. Trying to figure out where I want to put that. I guess I'll just build a new one in here instead. Yeah, it's fine. We gotta get that fixed. I mean, if we had had one more trap up, we've been fine. I wouldn't have had to send Zot over. Uh, overhead mountain, yeah. Overhead mountain. If it's within 30 tiles of uh, player, like, owned structure, furniture, etc., whatever it is, uh, and it's above a negative 17 Celsius, you can spawn an infestation of bugs. Or the red mountain, yeah. <laughs> overhead. So my... I noticed when I was recording the most recent guide, my microphone has a little bit of a noise gate on it. So if I haven't said anything for a couple seconds or like between words, I might want to change the sensitivity on it. It'll cut the beginning of words out as it, you know, it's noise gate, it's trying to filter out the crap. So uh, when I was making the most recent guide, which should go up tomorrow, I noticed at the start of some of the sentences, it was just the, the beginning of the word was just cut off completely. Skip shields so good for crash shuttle missions, have two. That was useless. It's really good for this run too. Yeah, a masterwork bed, Zot. Look at you. Look at you. Try using one of those mics. Filter crap out. 
Or anything much talk. <laughs> Spire creativity. Anything really? Do I have other steel nearby? If not, we need to get our deep drills going. Oh, there's some good steel. Don't like that it's so close to the edge of the map, though. Hmm. Let's mine a little at a time. Just a little bit. Yeah, it's gonna be all right. Yeah, they're fine. <laughs> they're fine. I guess Zot's gonna live here. Zot, did you have anyone that was like a loved one or anything? No. Oh, you you did. Hairball. Hairball is the one that's in the coma. Well, I mean, we can eventually send you back, Zot. It's gonna be a little while though. You're gonna be kind of unhappy sleeping without them for a little bit, but you know, you would have been dead if members of your colony are not dead. You would have been upset if members of your colony were dead. See, right. yeah, the infection. Uh, he beat it completely. Yeah. Yep. Oh wait, infection. Uh, for some reason, I was like malaria. Yeah, malaria. Uh, yeah, he's been in the infection. I think, but we just ran out of industrial meds, so we'll have to keep an eye on it. He's beating it, like, by 10% right now, but what was it in? Oh, it's in his fingers, so we have to, we can, uh, can cut off the body part. We'll see. Three, three. Enough there to make another door. Okay. What's that? <laughs> Floating hands aren't anything in the world that should be. It's probably a mod for that. Medicine production's OP. Oh, we had another sword up. Yeah, an elephant. For a torso amputation, get rid of the infection. Doctor in the red is like Doctor in the Civil War, yeah. <laughs> Pretty much. It's crazy what they can do though, right? <clears throat> Just by rubbing some dirt in it. Hmm. They actually make the multi analyzer now. Wow. Done, Zot. Look at the size of Zot's room right now. 
He's the doctor. It's still a dull room. Combat supplier. All right. So a bunch of random crap. Man, I can even quickly mine all that silver and maybe buy a good weapon from them. But I don't know if I want our uh, our wealth to go up that high yet. Some people that I'm gonna try to finish this whole game under 100,000 wealth so that our raids are manageable, but. We're quickly approaching that number. We're at 70,000. All right, let's see what they got. What do you got, Ark? Take some of the crap we got off our hands, at least. Uh, let's see, here we go, take that junk. Hold on to that. Um, marine helmets. Yeah, we're poor. <laughs> we're gonna buy this crap. All right. Well, thanks for your 200 silver and getting rid of our junk. <clears throat> Appreciate it. Starvation. Oh, crap. Gotta set that back up. Do you tell we have probably 12 of these? <clears throat> We'll pause again until we get down to <clears throat> eight. Excuse me. Mm -hmm. There you go. <clears throat> Food. That was a no pause run. <clears throat> Excuse me, I'm suspending the work order temporarily. Definitely not pausing it. With all these couples, I need to get rid of some of these beds. My God, we're gonna get trade ships. I do want to get electricity for this. I'll probably do like one wind, one solar. Yeah, that should be all right. And then a battery. By the blue mean, trying to bond with someone. Uh, I probably meant it was mating. Yeah. Mating, I'm pretty sure. Total time watch, yeah. It's for almost 2,000. Getting close, man. Jerem hiding in your room. Good, that's where you've been anyway. You'll be over your dead friend in exactly 0.2 hours. <laughs> All right. Uh, and let's go ahead and get this done.
Not an auto door. No, no, no. <laughs> All right, Jer, let's see what you get for your tier five. Let you get a little bit of rest. Good enough. Bond. Are auto doors worth it? I think they're relatively worth it in like high traffic areas, you know? Or areas where it matters if you get through quickly or not. Uh, like retreat tunnels and stuff like that. They're pretty good. I mean, I wait until late game when the percentage of wealth in the ad is so low that it probably doesn't matter that you're adding it. But, okay. Just depends. Uh, I do like it in like the high, high traffic areas like into the freezer, kitchen, things like that. Hey, cooler is easier to keep the cool. Yeah, yeah, exactly. It's going okay, Lord. Welcome back. Hours list gets real stagnant when you hit the 60s and 50s. It's hard to move up. Through a girl at 36 already. It's almost 40 hours. Well, tanks four on the dot. There are 22,000 people that have watched more than four hours. That's insane. I'll hold those doors open. All right, Jer, what'd you get? Flash storm. Okay, so this is really interesting. Um, someone tested, who was it, Arzonica, I believe? Someone tested and flash storm will not hit a tile where there is roofing. So what you can do is we could roof the entire area that flash storm would hit aside from these tiles right here. And we could cast flash storm here and it would just barbecue those people for quite a long time. So I, I might try that out. So it seems like a pretty interesting idea. Doesn't work against mechs, unfortunately, because apparently it's heat damage and mechs are immune to heat damage, but uh, I think I might try that out. Fourteen effect radius. Barbecue kill box. Let's go take a look at what that would look like. That wouldn't be too hard to do, actually. And hmm. It was about what? Right there is where the corner of it was? Uh, went over. Okay. Where was the center? No, no. I was looking at the wrong. Okay, I was right the first time. Four. Yeah, I think we need to actually get that... That's pretty, uh, it's pretty interesting. I think I'm gonna have to try that out. Whoops, I clicked. I'm in windowed mode, so. Um. I mean, we can grow more food out here instead. We've been overgrowing food anyway, so. It's worth the test. Hmm. Uh. You have to have line of sight to cast it. That's the only thing. We could test it, yeah. Before I built or like got rid of some of the crop, but. Strike an area with lightning for some time. How long does it last? 164 seconds also. That's kind of insane, actually. That is so long. Man. But yeah, it requires a line of sight, so... Hmm. We can maybe make a box on the outside. Either way, we'll test it somewhere. Vector radius is 14. So... From here...
Yeah, that's a pretty big area that we have to box in. But if we change this so that you can cast it from here or something? Yeah, I don't know. Really looking forward to testing this. Look at that, Quicksilver, you're up. Chat me long-term damage for that. Ah, you lost some fingers. You still hold your sword, that's all that matters. Man, he is just destroying that infection. Well, we do have a good doctor now, so that we're getting some good tin quality for change. Other be a problem? Uh, heat escapes pretty rapidly from a single tile moving, yeah. Uh, single removed roof tile. It goes surprisingly fast. Hmm. Bolt goods trader. Hey, our first ship. What do you know? We haven't we haven't got a single exotic goods trader. I really I need exotic goods. I need uh, animal pollsters. One of them's already saved us in this run. See what else we can offload first. All this tattered junk. Gone. fine to keep that one's fine don't need parkas synthread parka jeez all right can we just get them all yeah we can't get them all now okay And sign our welcome in. Flash Army Night Oven would be abusing. I mean, I guess technically, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. I think it would still get pretty hot. If the fire got large enough, but that would be really crazy. I called a thunderstorm in there to light the, the burn box. Let's go ahead and allow sewing over here again in case we do this setup. Uh, bring that in. All right. Let's get the rest of this done. Because for whatever reason in this game, wood wall is more wealth than stone walls. Aside from lime, stone, maybe uranium. I don't know why limestone. It's weird. that up excuse me you can go to bed after your manual labor is complete there we go okay tomorrow I'll work on the other ones it's kind of just chilling i don't think much has happened here since the bears huh it's weird the first half of stream is like crazy we had a mech drop in the base we had a mech drop outside the base we had uh we've had two mech cluster well a mech cluster a psychic ship two 30-man raids Ever Welcome since. Back. Your steadfast yeah. loyalty is greatly appreciated. Isuru, 21 months. Why, that's almost one full calendar year, Isuru. Wish you had about your colony's extended warranty. <laughs> uh, thank you. How's this going to save me money? Isuru, thank you. 
your colony's extended warranty. Show the schedule uh, on this colony. Sure, on this colony, I have the biphasic schedule on everyone aside from our night owl. Uh, this way, it's much easier to keep their mood up, get a lot more uh, inspirations, a lot less breakdowns. They get their comfortable buff uh, multiple times a day. Pretty environment, spacious room, all that good stuff. So it's basically just the days I have divided into 12 hours instead of into 24 hours is all. Most limited spots for the animals. Uh, there's a few just for... I don't... I'm not making any animal beds for them. But there's a few just for... Uh, when we need them to lay down so we can doctor them. But. And then back in this colony, we're just using a pretty standard recreate before bed, sleep, do whatever all day. Work, and if you're in need of recreation, just do it. Don't any good defense tactics without using kill a box or trap tunnel? I mean, not, not really. I, Five dollars, Buster. Um, hang on. I'll come back to that. Jason, thank you for the five dollar donation. Thanks for the stream. Always learn a lot watching. Thank you, Jason. I appreciate it, man. Thank you for the donation. Helps me and my family out quite a bit. Um, so I mean, if you're if you're not using like an actual kill box or a kill tunnel type thing, I would still highly recommend like an outer wall and then fall back positions like bunker type things for using normal fighting or normal weapons like ranged weapons and whatnot. Uh, animals and side casting are really really good in. It's one of the best things in open combat. That way you can uh, berserk the enemies so they attack each other. Animals can take shots and wall fighting as well, depending on the animal themselves. But I mean, at some point, depending on the difficulty you're playing on, you're going to be outnumbered. Sometimes it's, it's just insane. We got hit by 500 tribals. 500 tribals in the 20-year run. Uh, it was like two raids back-to-back. -back, 500 tribals. There is no way... You're going to beat 500 tribals just out in the open. I mean, unless you have like a hundred uh, people with mini guns or something, you know? So, I mean, you can do the fallback positions. What I like to do um, in general inside the base, if we're using guns, is we... Or I like to put a lot of doors. And then on the extra doors that aren't used very often, I'll put barricades outside of them that way there's lots of fallback positions to go back and shoot from uh regardless where your colonists are like when a drop pod happens or whatnot in this run it doesn't matter because we can't really do that but yeah at a certain point it gets to where like you you have to use those tried and true defensive strategies that's what i was saying i was like how does how does this tribe have so many people it's like that's got to be their entire populace tribe you gotta watch the 20 year run oh god there's so many crazy things like that yeah it's it's not uncommon in the late game or really high wealth you know whatever to get three groups of 200 tribals attacking it's like what, what do you do <laughs> what do you what do you do if you don't have an area to corral them into well i guess they just die sorry it's no go yeah yeah we were talking about that earlier that it's uh i wish there was some other method the game used instead of just literally outnumber you 31. all sides <laughs> yeah we've talked about that before so many runs over here mention death here's the yayo I was gonna sell on food though, yeah. <laughs> yeah, so you'll see me use all kinds of defensive tactics in, the, in an, even a normal game. 
but... Uh, if you're playing on, like, um... Like, the middle difficulty or something, obviously it's gonna be a lot easier to deal with those, but, I mean, still, you would want to do basic... Like, you want to make sure that the enemy can't outrange you is... That's, like, the fundamental of your first line of defense. Make sure enemies can't outrange you. So, whatever weapon that you're mostly using, try to make it so enemies don't engage with you until they're at the... One of the optimal distances for the accuracy of that weapon. So, for me, I usually use weapons where that's about 15 to 18 tiles. Like, that's good enough accuracy for things like the SMG. SMG is actually more accurate, even closer, but that's scary. Um, like, assault rifles, you need... A long time ago, I used to put it at max. It was like, all right, I'm going to put it at the entrance of the max distance that my assault rifles can fire. And then I'm like, wait, why are these Lancers killing us? <laughs> but... You want to do a 500 sit run? <laughs> yeah, try it out. It's, that's fun. I, I like doing it, but... When you get rages out, raids that are they're from different factions that are hostile to each other. Will they attack each other before you? Yeah. Yeah. They will attack each other if they're hostile to one another. Yeah, exactly. Like, even... We got to a point on the 20-year run where we had so much firepower that we killed centipedes in a single volley. So at that stage, it probably didn't matter if things had, you know, what range. Within reason. Yeah, you need time to reload and hit the next melee group. Game stresses you out to no end, though. Oh, man, we ran out. All right. Let's do this. Get rid of some more wealth from this colony. Now that we're uh, regrowing over here, it should be okay. Facts. Let's try to do that. Hi in the room. Yeah, I still haven't played. Uh, people were talking about the Igor, Igor, or whatever. Invader storyteller earlier. I haven't done any modded storytellers yet. time though. Melee only. Oh man, it's been really rough. It's the tip number four, so. Yeah, I haven't played any of the modded storytellers. I do plan to do that. I have so many playthroughs I want to do. I'm really hoping we get through this uh, melee when, on this attempt so that I can move on. Try some more. Here. Let you help. Uh, well, they are eating all rice, so for now they're vegan again. The Lovecraft run right now with Rim of Madness. Very thematic. Not as hard, though. <laughs> Most YouTuber world players are too chaotic for you. In what sort of way, if you don't mind me asking? Welcome back. Your steadfast loyalty is greatly appreciated. Why, that does help out. Uh, Black Condor. Thank you for the five months helping out, you say. Thank you, Condor. Very much appreciate it. Wait, what? How did you... Spotted with Tet? Oh, no. I didn't mean to do... I didn't want that to happen. He has a boom lo bonded to him. That's not good. Those are suicide bombers, Tet. You don't get attached to those things. <laughs> I 
Thanks, Condor. Uh, D&D soon. Hop down to sub. That's awesome, man. They're very amped up. Yeah, I think I'll... I don't know. For me, the stream has always been like... I used to stream overnight, so I was like extra chill during that because a lot of people would literally like lay down to sleep to the stream, which was fine by me. So I'd be even more chill than current. Um, but for me, it's always been like one of those couch co-op kind of things. Like hang out with your friends, experience a game, watch one of your friends play a hard game sort of thing. Just chill, have fun. If I lose, I lose, whatever. But no, I experienced that recently. I was, uh, what was I watching? I got recommended a Terraria video by like, it's a really popular streamer. And I went to it and uh, they were trying out um, it's not who you think, probably. <laughs> but anyway, they're trying out hardcore master mode, and they... It's Zom. Yeah, I need a Zom. Uh, anyway, they were trying out hardcore master mode, and they died, like, right at the beginning. And they were screaming. It was like, you didn't lose much of a playthrough. They spawned in, they got killed by one of the, like, the two starter slimes. I was probably, like, screaming. I was like, alright, it's enough for me. I will never watch another of your videos. Goodbye. Apparently, some people love that stuff. Not me, though. So they try to get watch, yeah. The most non-chill was during the classic maybe the Sekiro playthrough. <laughs> it was all good fun. Yeah, acting and overreacting for views, yeah. Oh well. I'll chill. But you wanna stay in chill too? Fantastic. Soft taco, welcome in. How's streaming? So it's interesting. So the first half of the stream, we had all kinds of events. I thought we were gonna die multiple times. I mean, we were just getting bludgeoned by some some crap that I wasn't sure we could overcome. Last half, basically nothing has happened. Like the last couple hours have been very, very easy. Still streams and best streams. Get comfy, that's right. What? This is completely turned uh, from what it was earlier. Sorry, Taylor, this is Randy. Yeah. It's Randy, so you never know which Randy you're gonna get. We've had runs where we literally get a raid on day one, flu and a raid. Uh. I don't know when when you when you want whatever, just let me know. Tribal this time, yeah, instead of naked brutality. Out oh, streamers are probably with the kids. That's right. Soon. All right. Yeah, you can get ready if you want. You guys can get ready. Cause I basically just I don't really have to do anything. Put shoes on. Basilos, the Empire, Gormand, uh, we'll save you for Rhett. It's fine, don't you join though. Hardcore wealth minimization, yeah, <laughs> pretty much. I don't know how else we can beat literally melee only. The other people that have tried 500% melee that I know of eventually decided to add other things in. So it, I mean, it's still a crazy hard feat regardless. Like I'm not, slandering these sometimes you were like get upset when i see these, these things nothing bad about those runs at all but the other people that i know of that have done five percent melee only and managed to win ended up having to incorporate additional things like mortars and emp grenades and stuff like that so i really am curious if we can do it without those and i don't know if we can but uh, i think if we're going to be able to then keeping the wealth extremely low is the only way Mortars, powers. How hard can you snowball in wealth independent mode? That's what our that's what we found out, uh, Jabril, is if you can get ahead of the curve in wealth independent mode, it becomes easier. The early game is really hard, so on naked brutality, getting ahead of that curve was really hard. It took us 16 attempts to get ahead of the curve, but once we did, we just ran with it. So what I started doing on wealth independent mode was right off the bat, I would like I would do something that I would never do in these. I went out and mined gold right off the bat. As soon as we started, I got a little hut. I was like, all right, I'm mining gold. If I have enough traps up to survive uh, the next raid, 
We're mining any gold that I can find. We're making drugs. We're, I try to make as much money as soon as I could by armor, weapons, and slaves. And it works. But that would never work in one of these playthroughs. Unless Randy was chill for a little bit and didn't try to kill you. Got lucky. MP grenades? Since when are those class sizes melee? They're not yet, so... But everyone else I know of ended up having to use them to win, so... Yeah, we can't use turrets either. Last two quests together on the 20-year one was... Yeah. God, we had to abandon a big section of the base. So I'm gonna have to plant a little bit more food than I had intended. Uh, due to having a third person here, but that's all right. Okay, let's be careful not to mine the overhead mountain part. Shield belts? Yeah, we can use any equi equipment like that. Shield belts are fine. We're still attacking melee with shield belts, though. So. Some of the earlier work progress runs were hilarious. Didn't find colonists. Oh my god. Yeah, there was that yeah, 20 plus pirates with two people. We had a couple runs where we didn't get another colonist. Just randomly. Until year two. Until year two. And then we had that one that was like the perfect seed. It ended up being what we did for run 16 and we won on. But attempt number 15 was uh, on that same seed actually. And the reason I replayed the seed, it was a random map. It was a really good map. But when I was trying to rush and get ahead, one of the things I was doing was I was opening, as soon as we had our first traders or whatever, I was uh, immediately opening the Ancient Danger. And what happened is it was Naked Brutality. It was like day two trader. They were set up right next to our base, which was right next to the Ancient Danger. And so what I did is I, I popped open this side here and I was like, the traders will take care of them and some of the traders might get down and we get some of their weapons and stuff. I opened it and there was a pikeman that instantly shot. There's a little, there's like a small, um, uh, like a second where you can't move after you've deconstructed something. Pikeman shot, one shot, hit in the brain, brain destroyed, dead. End of run 15 in about 15 minutes of playtime. <laughs> There's all kinds of crazy stuff that happened on the way to getting to the victory on that one, but. Uh, so he knows you can stack overflow ready points with wealth. Uh, wealth, you have 5.5 million colony wealth. Except 100 mech raids. 80 travels. There's a maximum. Uh, without mods, the maximum raid strength the raid can send at you is 50 centipedes. So you, you'll, it doesn't matter if you're at 5 million wealth or 500 million wealth. Uh, if you get an all centipede raid, the maximum it can even send is 50. There might be a mod. I'm assuming there's like mods for everything that changes that limit. But yeah, it won't overflow past the point cap that the game is set up to send at you, unfortunately. Brain insta-kills are such a BS mechanic. Well, I mean, it really sucks when you have a helmet, like a really good helmet, but he had nothing. We were still naked. Nothing at all. Three times, do that. Shoot the wall instead now. Yeah. It's always a risk. All right, guys, you're, have a good rest of you all. Day or night, I'll probably go on your back. You didn't know that? Yeah, there's a cap, unfortunately. I talked about it during our 20 year challenge. I was like, if we get to the point where we can survive 50 centipede raids, can we use turrets for this challenge? No, can't even build them, they're disabled. Um, that seed was fantastic. Yeah, Excavation 16, I believe. No, Excavation Seed is still set up. Excavation Seed, if you want to use that seed, but one of the best uh, Rimworld seeds I've ever gotten from a random map. Anyway, um, yeah, there it is. Thank you. Uh, when I was doing the 20-year run, I was like, if we can get to the point where we can survive a 50 centipede raid without taking very much damage at all, then we know we can probably survive all the way to the end. And we did get to that point. Yeah, that seed, if anyone wants to use the seed from the uh, 16 run, actually, 
No, that's not the link to it. Exclamation 20, I think, is the link to the 20 year run. Anyway, that seed right there is such a good one. Uh, it's a really good mountain map. You don't have to build a mountain base. We didn't. There's only Our like one grows. canyon leading into your base and the anima tree spawns in the back of that canyon completely protected right off the bat. It's a really good seed. Uh, Mishka, thank you for the follow Mishka. Well, as much as I hate to do it, I gotta get my family some dinner. So it's closing time for me. Let me go ahead and save this before anything else happens.